All right, how's everyone doing today? Well, today's mail call. I got some mail. You guess what's in here? Some seeds. Pretty exciting. Um, so I'll open the first one here. This one's from uh, Jane, one of my subscribers. She's been following me for quite a while and she sends me seeds quite often and I've sent her a bunch of seeds. So let's see what she's got in here for me. All right, I'm gonna need my glasses because I can't read half the time. All right, she was telling me about these ones, Ildi yellow tomatoes. So they're like a cherry tomato, but there's apparently like 200 cherries on a cluster. So I am gonna try these out and see how they go. Pretty excited about trying those out. Um, she told me she's gonna try them this year and uh, yeah, we'll see how they go. Another cluster. And these ones are green globe artichoke. Interesting, I've never done artichokes, but I'll have to try them out. I don't even know what artichoke seeds look like. So let's take a look in here. They're actually fairly big. I'm not sure how you would germinate those, but I think they might need some heat. But they're kind of like a, I don't know, half the size, quarter of the size of pea. So we'll try some of those out. Thanks, Jane. We will get those started in the next few days here. It's going to be busy the next few days from here. I'm away working out of camp, helping out. And maple syrup season is still going on the full swing for us. Um, my next mail here is from one of my new uh, YouTube friends, uh, Jen. She's from Northern Girl Hobbies. So I sent her a bunch of seeds uh, two weeks ago and she has sent me a bunch here. So let us see what she has sent to us today. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. Look at this all. Stacks of seeds. Oh my goodness. Jean sent a little note here. Seed swap fun. Happy growing. Mortgage lifters are... What's that say? Huge. Cheers, Jennifer. Thanks, Jen. So, I've been wanting to try the mortgage lifter tomatoes. They're supposed to be huge ones. So, last year I did Sicilian saucers and they were like average two and a half pounds. Um, so, she said the... Mortgage lifters are just as big. All right, so she sent me some Elf El Pepper, Pepper. I think that's how you say it. I don't know, we'll try it out. A few seeds there. Uh, this one is large barred boar. Those look like tomato seeds to me. So I'll try some of those out. Hopefully the lights are not too bright here. I'm trying to find a better places to film videos in the house here. Here's the mortgage lifter tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna get those ones started pretty soon too. Um, I got so many tomatoes I've started this year. I don't know where I'm putting them all. Oh, wait, what are these? Rare Hopi squash. Well, those are big seeds. Look at the size of those. I've heard of this Hopi squash or Hopi. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But uh, those are giant seeds. Wow. Usually squash seeds are a little thinner and a uh, little bit uh, more of a sharper point on them. Cool. Interesting seed. Oh my goodness, it keeps going. Thanks, Jen. Lem Lemon Boy Hybrid Tomato. Man, I got a, I need another greenhouse. My greenhouse is maxed out with all the tomatoes I've grown. Um, I found the ones I like, but I'm gonna try some more of these ones and hopefully some of these ones are good. A brandy wine red tomato, cool. I like brandy wines, I grow them almost, well, I'll have grown them for a few years actually. Yellow something melon, some kind of melon. Cool, we'll try those out too. My problem is I feel like I got a lot of garden space, but once I start growing, I don't have any space, which is crazy. Because every time people send you seeds like this, you want to grow more and you need more space. What are these ones? Oh, right. Red radish. Rito red radish. I'll have to try some of those out. I like the little sign she made. Cool. All right. Next one here. Black strawberry tomatoes. Ooh, these sound interesting. I think I've seen these before. I think they're a smaller tomato, maybe cherry. Not 100% sure. But we'll be trying those out as well. Ground cherries, oh yeah, she was telling me about ground cherries. I've, I've had ground cherries before, but I'll try these out. I'll find, I'll find a spot for them. Maybe we'll, I, I'll put them beside the greenhouse there. All right, what else do we have here? Dr. Witch's yellow tomato. So here's some more tomato seeds. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be overloaded cherry tomatoes this year. Pretty awesome. Oh, and she sent me a sticker too. Old Man Swede's Farm. Coolio. I'll have to check him out as well. And I got a magnet from her as well. Cool, I'll have to stick that up on the fridge. All right, guys. Hi, right, so sorry about that, my uh, SD card got full. So thanks to Jen and Jane for sending me those seeds. I'm gonna find a spot for some of these. 
hopefully I have room for them all this year. If not, I'll try them next year, but I'll do my best to get them planted in. And uh, yeah, I think I was just saying, she gave me a sticker as well. Very cool. Or a magnet. Thanks guys, and thanks for watching. Um, if you guys want to do seed swap, let me know. I've still got seeds kicking around. I'm sure Jen's got more seeds as well. And Jane may even have some seeds she's willing to trade as well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you out there. And can't wait for gardening season. It's just around the corner.